Hey everyone, Laser Dave here again from Trotec Laser. You know, I receive a lot of requests asking what entry-level laser cutting and engraving system is a better return on investment. A Glowforge Pro laser system or the Trotec Rayjet 50 laser system? So I put together a simple sign file that showcases engraving and cutting to see the performance difference of each of these laser system brands. I'm going to show you the entire process side by side from file creation to product running each laser system at its max possible speeds at the same resolution and we will see exactly how these brands perform. Let's discuss each of the laser systems configuration so that we have a baseline for this comparison test. We're going to run the Rayjet 50 with 30 watts of laser power and a honeycomb cutting table compared to a Glowforge Pro series laser with 45 watts of laser power and a cutting table. Here is the design file that will be processed with a simple black engraving and a red cut line. You can scan this QR code should you like to download this file. The sign material for this project will be Trolay's metallic brushed silver on black engraving plastic. You can also scan this QR code to order this plastic. Here are the parameters that have been determined for each laser system after testing to find the fastest possible setting for this material at a close resolution. To start, I will place a small piece of engraving plastic into each of the laser systems. I will place the black engraving file into the red outline cut line for both systems, and then select the graphic. I will then select the print button on the Rayjet and the PDF button for the Glowforge, saving the PDF to a file folder. The Rayjet printer driver can be selected and the engraving plastic can also be selected for the material parameters. The Glowforge web-based app can be opened to see a live camera view of the plastic inside the laser system. The artwork can now be imported directly into the Glowforge from the file location that with the PDF was saved from. The Rayjet manager software can now be opened and you can quickly use the arrow keys to move the red dot pointer to identify the file location inside the Rayjet. The Glowforge camera system allows for the file to be visually placed over the camera image for the alignment. Once the red dot pointer has located the material, the file can be snapped to the cursor on the screen to align the graphic to the material inside the Rayjet laser. The Rayjet laser is now ready to run the file. The Glowforge does not have a preset material setting for standard engraving plastic, so a setting will need to be placed in manually assigning a power and speed for both the engraving and the cutting of this common laser material. Testing was done in advance to determine the best power setting for this material. Once the material parameters are placed into the fields, we now can go and select the material to be processed. An unspecified material needs to be selected and a material thickness needs to be applied. Measure the thickness of the material and place the thickness into this field for that type of unspecified material. Once you have done that, you can submit that and then now the file is now ready to be printed to the laser system. Time to set up files and send to each laser system was 54 seconds on the Rayjet and two minutes and 51 seconds on the Glowforge. Now let's push the start button on each laser system and watch each system process this sign side by side. To start, I will show the actual speed of each laser system. I will then take the Rayjet to a 10x time lapse and the Glowforge to a 30x time lapse due to how much longer the Glowforge takes to process this small sign. I have also placed a timer at the bottom of the screen that has been calibrated to match the time lapses. The time to process each sign was pre-estimated correctly in both the Rayjet software and the Glowforge software compared to the actual times to process this job. The Rayjet has now completed the engraving and the cutting of this sign in just under four minutes. The Glowforge has now completed the engraving and cutting of this sign in just under 22 minutes.
Let's now take a side-by-side -side look at the engraving details. The Rayjet produces a straight line, smooth engraving, and the Glowforge produces an orange peel look to the engraving. But both brands produce a nice looking finished sign. Now let's take a look at the numbers to determine the return on investment for each machine. With these process times, the Rayjet has the potential to produce 152 signs in 8 hours of operation, versus only 23 signs on the Glowforge in the same amount of time, indicating that the Rayjet is over 6.5 times more productive on this application. With these numbers, we can assign a fair price to this sign and estimate how many signs can be run in a month, or 160 hours of process time, to determine possible revenue generation from this product. If we assign a fair price of $7.99 per sign, the Rayjet has the potential to generate up to $24,289.60 per month, versus the Glowforge processing the same number of hours will produce $3,675.40 per month. And there we have it. The finished results run as fast as possible on each laser system. Please feel free to order the material and download the file should you like to run this project. All settings and details are included to repeat this project should you like. If you have any questions on this project, please post them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and see our website at trotechlaser.com.